Christmas is a Christian celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ from the Virgin Mary, which has become one of the most prominent global holidays and is celebrated by Christians and non-Christians around the world. Christmas, from the words Christ's Mass, is presently celebrated on December 25th, as it has been throughout much of history. As a feast, Christmas lasts until January 1st, the Feast of Mary. During this time, merrymaking and feasting are appropriate. Christmas is commonly thought to end at the Feast of the Epiphany 12 days after Christmas, but this is not entirely true. Christmas is also a season of the liturgical year, and it lasts at least until the Sunday after the Feast of the Epiphany. In older traditions, Christmas was a full 40-day period, which corresponded to the 40 days of Lent. The official end of the Christmas season, of course, is simply when the church returns to ordinary time. There is considerable debate among historians as to the placement of the day on the calendar and the reason why it is so. According to scholarly interpretation of the scripture, Jesus was likely born in the spring, or even more likely the fall, and not in December as commonly believed. However, the date of Christmas on December 25th was firmly fixed by the church during the time of the late Roman Empire. Some speculate that the date was chosen to coincide with pagan festivals, such as a Roman celebration of the sun and other pagan midwinter rites, like the winter solstice. Other theories reference early Christian debates over when to fix the holiday. In the early church, it was believed Christ was conceived on March 25th, making the choice of December 25th logical because it's nine months later. It should be noted that the early church used a different calendar than what is used today, and the earliest Christmas celebrations, which are on December 25th in the old calendar, would be on January 7th under today's Gregorian calendar. Regardless of the origin of Christmas and the choice of the date, the Christian celebration has always been intended to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. And this commemoration is far more important than the trivia surrounding the origin of the holiday. Christmas has been celebrated variously throughout history. It is universally considered a happy day that is greeted with much anticipation and revelry. The season of Advent precedes Christmas and has long been used as a time of purification, a sort of mini Lent, during which Christians do penance and purify themselves before the arrival of Christ in the world. Christmas has not always been celebrated in the Western world. The Protestant Reformation, particularly the rise of Puritanism in England, led to temporary bans on the holiday, although the bans were generally unpopular. Christmas did not become a major holiday among some Protestants until the 19th century when it came into vogue with the upper classes in England and the United States. However, Christmas has always been celebrated by the Catholic Church and it's considered one of the holiest days of the year, just behind Easter. Today, Christmas has lost much of its meaning in our culture. This slide into secularism and commercialism actually began in the 19th century as merchants promoted the idea of gift giving as part of the holiday. Gift giving is a major tradition around the world Although many still wait until the Feast of the Epiphany in January to exchange gifts, thus preserving the reverent intent of the holiday. Present day Christmas celebrations include displays of lights and trees, parades, and the time is anticipated by retailers who rely on the seasonal sales to balance their books, or so it is widely claimed. Meanwhile, devout Christians commonly put up nativity scenes. A popular Catholic custom is to keep the baby Christ out of the display until Christmas Eve or after midnight mass. Some families will place the three kings away from the nativity scene and allow the children to move the figures closer to the manger each night until the Feast of the Epiphany on January 6th when their arrival is celebrated. Christmas customs and celebrations vary widely around the world. There are no rules in the church governing these traditions other than keeping holy days of obligation and the rites and rituals which are to be performed. The wide variation is something itself to be celebrated, for it illustrates the rich diversity and the truly universal nature 
of the Catholic Church.